Oh God, <laughs> can you hear the toxicity? What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com CMP Kits, where CMP sells his kits, right? Toxic One Shots, available for everybody right now You can use it on Live, you can use it on FL Studio You can use it on, F on any DAW This loop that you're hearing in the background Created 100% with Toxic One Shots That's why it sounds so nasty Now today, what we're going to be doing Is we're going to be looking at the age-old question And that age-old question is CMP, why can't I get my 808s to sound Like they do in FL Studio The glide is different, man It's it's not the same. I just can't make an 808 sound. I, I got to use FL Studio. Well, my friends, today we're going to deep dive into it. So I want to show you what I got up right now. I've got FL Studio initiated as a VSTI inside Studio One. Whoa. Okay. And what I have is I have the same 808, uh, the ethereal order. Um, I've got this pattern right here and and what do i have here is i've got um you know we're using uh the way that i've known uh to how to do 808s in fl studio for a very long time you um you turn the de uh, the delay the attack the um decay sustain and release all the way to the left you turn the hold all the way to the right in the channel rack and then what it does is it produces a note off effect which um, means that for however long you draw the midi or hold your keyboard it will play when you release it it will stop and then what we're also doing is we're using a slide note this is a 32 note slide note um which is which is giving us a pitch shift now one thing the i think the reason why we have a hard time going from fl studio to other daws with the piano roll is because uh fl studio does a lot of things in the background that we never really learn what's going on so when we need to replicate the sound in another daw it makes it a little harder for example what this slide note is doing is it is is it is automatically setting up setting up a glide parameter on a sampler to um, create a portamento effect where this this um this uh, pitch will raise up in uh, at at hundred at one hundred fifty beats per minute it'll raise up it'll raise up at fifty milliseconds and it'll stay at this pitch right and it doesn't appear to be that way. Um, if you look at it visually, uh, but that is, that is what's actually happening there. So if you know that, right, if you know that past, uh, you know, just like, the dogs don't have slide notes, bro, piano row sucks, NFL studio, um, uh, you, you wouldn't know how to replicate it in another sampler, right? Cause it's just a sampler. So what we have is the same 808 here. What I've done is I've turned off the pitch uh, modifier, turned off the filter, turned off the LFO. It doesn't, I don't know that it makes it sound any different, but it's just for good practice. Now, to replicate that uh, that ADSR setting that's in the FL Studio channel rack, you want to make sure that you set your trigger to normal. You turn your your attack all the way down, turn your sustain all the way down, turn your release all the way down, and then just throw your decay all the way up. All right? you want to make sure that you have mono activated you want to make sure that you have glide activated and for a six or for a 32 note uh gl slide on a 150 bpm song that value is 50 milliseconds okay cmp how do you know that very simple i go to a reverb calculator right and you just look for 32 note on 150 beats per minute boom very simple and easy to do now that i've got that set up the only thing that you got to remember is when you go to draw when you go to draw your slide notes in in um 
in studio one you can't just you can't just draw them as as 32 notes like you would in fl studio because what's going to happen is um the way that the way that the sample one pitch bend works is it's going to is it's going to bring you up to here for um in 50 milliseconds but then as soon as as soon as you re as soon as you um release this note it's going to drag you back down right so let me show you what i mean um let's go to let's go to let's go to our what we want it to sound like this is fl studio playing the 808 all right so that's fl studio playing the 808 let's listen to sample one playing it the way we've got it programmed All right, so that sound right there is why people are like, eh, you can't get the FL Glide in any other in any other DAW. You just can't do it. Uh, false. You don't know how to draw it. However, when you drag it out like this, watch what you get. Oh my God, is that an FL Studio slide? Oh my God. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go back and forth between the two. FL Studio. Okay, sample one. FL Studio. Sample one. Okay, let's go ahead and just for a good measure, let's do, let's do a bounce on this one. Okay, let's do a bounce on the FL Studio one. Whoa. Nice. Let's put them together. I mean, that's it. The glide, the glide isn't different. It's the same glide. It's the, it's the same, it's the same 808. It is the same, it is the same exact sound. Um, so FL slides being impossible in other DAWs debunked. And let's just go over what you're going to have to do to make this, uh, to make this possible in studio one one more time to make sure that we didn't miss anything one you're going to want to make sure you click this make sure you've got your bend set to 24 because the uh, presona sets it at three for some weird reason so you want to set it to 24 you want to make sure that you've got your mono clicked you want to make sure that you've got your glide clicked you want to make sure that you've got your attack sustain and release slid all the way down you want to have your decay turned all the way up you want to make sure that you've got your set to normal right here click off your filter and your pitch and your lfo and you will be able to slide and glide any 808 the same exact sound as fl studio on top of that ladies and gentlemen just make sure that when you draw your slide notes um if you're coming over from fl studio make sure that you don't draw them short otherwise what will happen is the pitch will go down you want to make sure that you draw them that you that you draw them uh rung out until the next uh 808 sample is triggered and that is the secret to getting an eight of an fl studio fl8 glide inside studio one so i know i just saved a bunch of people's lives so please go to cmpkits.com, buy my one shots, step, step your sound game up. Keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one, fam.